fucking the BMA. That's really strange. It's not necessarily good news, though, because, well, I don't know, actually, whether or not the success of an industrial action depends in part upon the coverage that it receives. And, and given that the only coverage you're going to get generally in this country traditionally is negative, why are the junior doctors not getting more attention? It's a 72-hour strike. We're about halfway through it. Unlike previous strikes by nurses and ambulance staff over the winter, there are no exemptions for junior doctors taking industrial action, which means emergency care and cancer treatment will be affected. Just shy of 50,000 in England eligible to vote, and 98% of those who voted voted in favour of strike action. Wow. And thousands more who aren't members of the BMA are expected to walk out as well. It stops at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning, maximising dis disruption. Huge impact, 200,000 non-urgent operations and appointments expected to be cancelled this week. And, and it's just not getting the fury that it would once have got. I, and I mentioned this because I remember the last junior doctor's strike. And I remember being, as is my traditional position in these matters, of quite a lonely little fish swimming against the tide, just saying, like with teachers, really. I, I just sort of remember when my kids were at primary school. I, uh, I, I remember thinking, I trust you to look after them. I kind of have to trust you when you tell me that you're taking industrial action. I'm gonna, I'm obviously, because of the job that I do, I'm going to look into it. It, I've, trust is fascinating, isn't it? Why would you trust someone writing a column for a right-wing newspaper and not trust someone who'll look after your kid if they get hit by a car? I've always thought this was weird. There was a, um, a moment for me in my professional life that changed everything. It was the weirdest thing. I've told you this a dozen times, but there'll be people listening who haven't heard it before, so bear with. It was during a firefighter's industrial dispute. One day I'll tell you who it was, if you haven't worked out already. And someone who I considered to be a friend. They were older than me. But I'd been to their house for dinner and stuff like that. And I, and I wasn't that political, would you believe, before I started doing this for a living. My background was in showbiz journalism. And I just thought that the... Um the firefighters going on strike was uncontroversial. Such a little flower, wasn't I? Such a delicate little flower, such a snowflake. Firefighters going on strike. You can't, you can't turn against firefighters. And, and I opened up the newspaper. I remember where I was. I was in the studio, not this studio. I opened up the newspaper, and I just saw a column by someone whose house I'd had dinner in about a month previously. I had a lovely evening, don't get me wrong. And it was, a, it was an unbridled attack on firefighters. And I, I just felt something change. I thought, you can't, you can't attack firefighters. And then, obviously, I've since seen the same sort of people attack nurses, attack... Teachers always get it in the neck. Don't even get me started on railway workers. Any... Oh, lordy lord. Um, but this is weird. This, this industrial action is not getting the attention and or the anger that it would ordinarily get. And I, I wonder why. Is that a question worth asking? I think usually we have really interesting phone-ins if, if it's a question I don't, I can't think of the answer to. Some possibilities. Is it, is it fatigue? Or is it the fact that no one's really going to look at the junior doctors and say, you haven't got a leg to stand on? Understaffing, as we know, is off the charts. Uh, retention is hugely difficult. Medics are leaving in their droves because of poor pay and stress. Uh, one doctor that the Independent or the I newspaper spoke to has been there for five years, sometimes the most senior doctor on his shift and responsible for overseeing 250 patients. Um, your base salary is, is uh, as Dr. Hamish Bain said, he was becoming, it was becoming unsustainable on, on the pay front, more and more colleagues leaving. Your base salary should reflect the value that you bring. We heard yesterday from people earning less than pret a manger workers. 15 years of experience, yet some of them still earning a junior doctor's salary. Below inflation pay rises year after year after year, meaning that they, by some calculations, reckon they're now about 35% behind where they would have been if, if, if their pay rises had been in line with inflation. So is it, is it just ignoring it? Is it that the papers will do what the government want them to do and the government just want you to pretend it's not happening? I don't get this, actually. 12 minutes after 12. I genuinely don't get this. What, what, because last time there was a junior doctor strike, everyone was screaming the odds. Everyone was trying to light bonfires. Everyone like me was trying to put them out. We, we, I remember we got three or four junior doctors into the studio. It was a brilliant phone-in so that you could ask them questions about what was really going on. But as I am often, I was motivated by 
trying to be an antidote to the to the wall-to-wall -wall right wing rhetoric that was being put in front of you and there's no wall-to-wall -wall right wing rhetoric which is why it hasn't struck me as an obvious story to talk about these are my fire extinguisher days what we're we going to talk about today well who are they attacking who, who's in who's in line for the two minute hate so it's, it's teachers james all right well let's do an hour on why teachers don't deserve to be hated Who's in line for the two-minute hate? This is refugees, James. All right, let's do an hour on why refugees don't deserve to be. Where's the two-minute hate for the junior doctors? And what does it mean that there isn't one? 03456060973 is the number that you need. It's a weird question, and it might be one that only intrigues me. But now I've pointed it out to you, it should really be intriguing you too. You too, not, not Bono and his mates. You too, you. It should be intriguing you also. Have a little think. Right. Have a little think back also to previous strikes in general and the last junior doctor's strike in particular, and then have a crack at telling me why. I, didn't, I, I said I wasn't going to look at the mail, but I will. Oscars, Lineker, Royals, Lineker, Rwanda. There it is. Crisis in the NHS as junior doctors strike for 35% pay rise. Health chiefs admit cancer care may suffer. They're not getting attacked. They've got some doctor to write about why he voted no to striking. We can't keep our patients as pawns. But it's the same bloke they get to write this article every time. 98% um, of people vote to do something. Let's find someone who did. That's great, John. 98% of people voted for something. Uh, let's find one who didn't and pretend that he's representative of anything other than the tiniest of minorities. Um, but again, it's not, it's not, it's just not furious. It's on page eight, but it's a left-hand page, which uh, traditionally means it's less prominent. Where, 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 why? What is it? It can't be this, Marion says it, because doctors are typically more likely to vote Tory. Not anymore, they're not, Marion. If that were ever true, it is not true now. But I'm thinking back to the last junior doctor strike when they were treated not unlike railway drivers. Train drivers are treated when the RMT, or, or Aslef more accurately, when Aslef go out on strike. That's just bizarre. What's happening here? 0345 6060 If you think back to what 30p Lee said about the Conservatives not being able to fight an election on their achievements because there aren't any, so they're going to have to do it on culture wars and trans issues, surely the junior doctors would be a wonderful... Has the pendulum swung so far now that anybody attempting to whip up hatred of junior doctors is on a hiding to nothing? So there'd be three stages in this process. Hate junior doctors when they go on strike some form of almost manufactured ambivalence because stage three would be huge support for junior doctors therefore the government should give them more money so the health secretary whose name eludes me for the moment they change jobs more often than anyone else uh, i can think of it steve barkley is the health secretary he's just sort of keeping his head down so that would be manufactured ambivalence can't, we can't get people angry with junior doctors. Look at the state of the country that we've governed for the last 13 years. And we don't want I, the anger going the other way and being directed at us because of support for the junior doctors. So, look, make some phone calls, will you? Tell them not to go in hard. On the, so why do you think the junior doctor strike is not attracting a fraction of the attention and the ire that it did last time they were on strike? 0345 I want to hear from junior doctors, I guess in particular on this, but... Everyone's qualified, especially people who listen to this programme on a regular basis. We're all media studies students now. Why is it? It's weird, right, now that we've pointed it out? It's the second topic of the day that is essentially built upon the question of why are we the only ones talking about it? This is L.